so i'll provide a quick demo on harmony so i'll i'll mainly show you three tricks so the first one um how you can prepare protein on small molecule structures in helm harmis i will also show you uh, how you can display a protein structure in ribbon and and finally um i can show you a few tricks on how you can analyze the binding sites of a protein ligand structures so the harmis graphics graphical user interface looks like that um i have a protein uh, which is 4k fg which is a dna gyrase uh, protein from pdb so on top here in those menus here you get the options to prepare your protein do the selection and also as i said before to go to different other csd discovery tools uh, if you have access to those and also you can harmis provides the interface for the docking program gold and also harmis has an option here where you have custom built uh, pre-made python script uh, which you can use via csd python api and also you can make your own script and make it available here so that you can you can part from those um, operation through through harmis so in the main window here in harmis if you go here in the molecular explorer on your left hand side it gives you the quick access to the molecule by expanding this one you can see the contents of the contents of the protein structure and as i was saying um, you can actually then hide or redisplay the chains the protein molecules the ligand molecules so it, which is quite um, quite useful tool and and also you have um, other uh, several options here um, available here which you can use to visualize and analyze uh, protein structures so what i will do quickly now is that my uh, the first one which is the prepare for example um i'm assume that i'm going to use this protein structure for uh, further docking or other molecular modeling studies so for that purpose generally we need to add hydrogens on a pdb structures so you you can do that from here in harmes going to edit and then add hydrogens and then harmes add hydrogens on on the whole protein structures so as we can see here, Harmis added over 1800 hydrogens on the structure. So then um, we can, for clarity, we can turn it off the hydrogens from here. Um, similarly, you can also uh, edit uh, or or um, edit the geometry or check the geometry of the of the ligand molecules here, which you can do from this edit button. So we have here on one, which is the edit structure which you can generally then if you have a disordered uh, ligand here you can then add atoms bonds or set atom levels or, or you can perform different type of um, per functions here and and can edit your uh, ligand molecule also what you can do is that you can do a auto edit ligand which is from these these functionality here which we can show uh, it it then does some custom made um, features on that for example this structure has not much things to add there so you can see the not no changes were made but using these two options you can actually then um, prepare your protein and your ligand for your further uh, further molecular modeling studies the second trick i will show which is uh, what we need when you when we made um, when you want to make uh, some quality image uh, for our macromolecules so for example if we want to make a ribbon diagram we can do that easily from harmes by coming here enabling the ribbon and then removing up we can have uh, we can see our protein in in a, in a ribbon diagram also you can change your um, display coming from here so which is generally white background we prefer while we are saving image for publication so this way you can have a you can have you can save image for publication so i'll go back again to the original okay uh, come back here to the wireframe and then And finally, I will show you a little trick on how you can analyze uh, the protein ligand, the binding site. So to do that, what I can do is that I can come to the ligand and do a center and 3D, so which will have my view now on the, on the ligand. I can zoom in here. I can see my ligand and the environment clearly. 
So in that in next case, next thing what we can try is that we can find out the hydrogen bond interactions between the ligand and the protein. To do that, I will select. You can do it for the whole molecules, but in this case, I'm just doing for the ligand sphere, which is around six angstrom around the around the ligand, and I will turn on the hydrogen bonds interactions here, and then you can see here where my ligand is forming hydrogen bond interactions with the protein side chains or the backbones for example i can see here um, uh, with an oxygen atom if i if we want to find out which protein atom that is i can also do that by enabling these the label label so i can find out that the aspartate 73 is creating some um interactions with these um with this ligand molecule. So in this way also you can measure your own distances and angle and torsions around the binding atom binding site and 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 analyze the binding site properly.